Hi there, Tim Bauer here from LiveVideoGuitarLessons.com with the practice tip of the day. This one is for the intermediate player, and you're probably going to hear some uh, explosions outside. It's, they're celebrating the 4th, and nobody's shooting at me, and there's no cannons parked in my yard or anything. But it, it's going to be a little noisy for a minute. So anyway, I want to continue our discussion today on using uh, combinations of coloration notes to uh, add some spice to our just plain old regular chords. In the last video, we, we covered some things you could do with a G, and in this video, I want to cover some things we can do with a, a regular C chord. So it sounds a little something like this. So what we were doing, our coloration notes are, are, these are not the only coloration notes, but the most common ones are, are seconds, fourths, and sixths. And that's what I was doing. I was throwing seconds, fourths, and sixths into, in different combinations into our C chord. And in, in, as you're doing that in, in your head, you're, it does change the name of the chord. We're not going to deal with, with naming chords today. But um, in your head, that's, it's all C. I mean, you just, all of that is perfectly... Uh, you can substitute it to any place you just have a regular C and you just add a little color there and uh, you get a different voicing. So anyway, so let's do some quick theory. Um, your major chord is uh, the first note, third note, and fifth note of the major scale of your root notes. For our C chord, our 1, 3, and 5 is C, E, and G. Okay, so our coloration notes are seconds, fourths, and sixth. The second note is a D, the fourth note is an F, and the sixth note is um, uh, an A. And those also correspond, D is also, the, D is the second, it's also the ninth in the next octave. Uh, F is the fourth and it's also the eleventh. So if you see like a you know, C11 chord, it has an F note up in the next octave. And then the A note is the sixth in the low octave and the thirteenth in the, the next octave. And we're going to deal with that in a different video. Just doesn't really matter whether you're playing the, the, uh, the thirteenth or the sixth. We're just dealing with those specific notes. We're just looking for different places to put them in the chord. And we're going to do them in combination. Um, so, okay, so let's, let's take a look at, um, let's add some seconds, and I don't know what order I did those in a minute ago, I was just kind of messing around, but let's just look at some places where we can add both a, uh, a D note, second, and an F note, uh, fourth at the same time. So here's my regular C chord. I pull this down here to the second string of the third fret, that's a D note. And I can either just roll that over and bar it, or I can just pull it down there, because it um, depends on which, whatever's most comfortable. And that's my F note, so... That gives me the uh, second and fourth in there. All right, so let's deal with the fourth and sixth. Oh, but there are other places you can do this. I mean, like I could put the second here as a D, and I could put my my um, fourth down here like this, or I could put my F over here, and uh, let's see, would that work? Yeah, that would not work. I'm sorry uh, because I lost my third. Um, but I can put it in like that. I can um, put my second here and my fourth here. So, I don't know why that other one didn't work. Let me think about that for a second. I should probably plan these videos out a little better. Because uh, that one sounded funny, and I forgot what I did now. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I, I forgot what combination I played, but we should be able to just, you know, drop that down there. And put that in there so anyway um, all right so let's look at our um, uh, fourths and sixths so let's we can we can play our F note here and we can drop our sixth note down there and we can catch that and again I don't remember which ones I was playing a minute ago um, I could play my my um, let's see I could play my F over here um, sorry and, and I can catch my sixth over there yeah, that's right. And um, let's see. So let's take a look at, at seconds and sixths. Um, let's see. I can play my D note second and my A note sixth here. If I want to put the fourth in there too, I can drop that in like that. And let's see. Does that cover everything? Um, we did seconds, fourths, fourths, and sixths. 
um, seconds and six. Okay, yeah, that covers them all. That is by no means all the possible combinations. It's, it's just some of them. And my my goal in, in making this video is not to, to tell you to do it this way. Otherwise, I'd have drawn up a bunch of chord charts and say, okay, here's a way to do it, here's a way to do it. Here. I just want to get you looking for them. It, it serves two purposes. Number one, it's really cool to add some different voicings to your, to your C chord. But um, I also want you to kind of get used to Instead of playing C and thinking this is a C, what you th you know kind of get a little bit more accustomed to the neck of your guitar, and I mean this is C, but it's also a C note, E note, G note, C note, E note on top. So it, it gets you a little more used to kind of looking around for you know um, the possibilities, and it gets you a little more um, a as you have to think about these on your own. It helps you with your theory. It helps you you know. Um, translate what you're doing with a C chord to other keys. I'm going to shoot videos on other keys uh, or the chords, but uh, you know, uh, the, the better you, you learn better if you do this mostly on your own with just a little guidance. So I'm just telling you the rules. You just kind of find the different combinations and find the ones you like. There, you know, some of them are going to sound like when you get this D note next to this this C note root. That's not my favorite. It is the second, but it's, it's so close to the root. I don't like the sound of that very much. So I, I tend to not do the, the C sus2 that way. Perfectly legitimate as a, as a harmony, but I, I prefer to throw the, the, the D in down here. It, it, it rings nicer to me. So anyway, so hopefully that helps. Um, thanks for tuning in for this practice tip. Tuning in tomorrow for another one, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.